Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill, and this is morning prayer for Saturday, June the 15th. It's the fourth week after Pentecost and week four in the Psalm Cycle. Thanks for joining me. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, we give thanks to you, O God. We give thanks, your name is near. Alleluia. Psalms 75 and 76, and please recite them with me. Alleluia, we give thanks to you, O God. We give thanks, your name is near. People tell of your wondrous deeds. You say, at the set time that I appoint, I will judge with equity. When the earth totters with all its inhabitants, it is I who keep its pillars steady. I say to the boastful, do not boast, and to the wicked, do not lift up your horn. Do not lift up your horn on high, or speak with insolent neck. For not from the east or from the west, and not from the wilderness comes lifting up. But it is you who executes judgment, putting down one and lifting up another. For in your hand there is a cup with foaming wine well mixed, you will pour a drought from it, and the wicked, all the wicked of the earth, shall drain it down to the dregs. But I will rejoice forever. I will sing praises to the God of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel. All the horns of the wicked I will cut off, but the horns of the righteous shall be exalted. Alleluia. In Judah, you, God, are known. Your name is great in Israel. Your abode has been established in Salem and your dwelling place in Zion. There your broke the flashing arrows, the shield, the sword, and the weapons of war. Glorious are you, more majestic than the everlasting mountains. The courageous were shipped of their, stripped of their spoil, and they sank into sleep. None of the troops was able to lift a hand. At your rebuke, O God of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel, both rider and horse lay stunned, but you indeed are awesome, and who can stand before you when your anger is roused? From the heavens you uttered judgment. The earth feared and was still, when you rose up to establish judgment, to save all the oppressed of the earth. Human wrath serves only to praise you. When you bind the last of your wrath around you, make vows to the Most High your God and perform them. Let all who are around God bring gifts to the one who is awesome, who cuts off the spirit of princes, who inspires fear in the kings of the earth. Alleluia. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. We give thanks to you, O God. We give thanks. Your name is near. Alleluia. The Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 17, beginning at verse 1. Six days later, Jesus took with him Peter and James and his brother John, and led them up a high mountain by themselves. And he was transfigured before them, and his face shone like the sun, and his clothes became bright as light. Suddenly there appeared to them Moses and Elijah, talking with him. Then Peter said to Jesus, Lord, it is good for us to be here. If you wish, I will set up three tents here, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. While he was still speaking, suddenly a bright cloud overshadowed them, and a voice from the cloud said, This is my son, the beloved. With him I am well pleased. Listen to him. And when the disciples heard this, they fell to the ground and were overcome by fear. But Jesus came and touched them, saying, Get up and do not be afraid. And when they raised their eyes, they saw no one except Jesus himself alone. As they were coming down the mountain, Jesus ordered them, Tell no one about the vision until after the Son of Man has been raised from the dead. And the disciples asked him, Why then do the scribes say Elijah must come first? He replied, Elijah is indeed coming and will restore all things. 
But I tell you that Elijah has already come. And they did not recognize him, but they did to him whatever they pleased. So also the Son of Man is about to suffer at their hands. Then the disciples understood that he was speaking to them about John the Baptist. Here ends the lesson. And now let us pray for the church and the world. For the mission of the church, that it may extend the peace and the love of Christ to all people. For Michael, our presiding bishop, for Jennifer Ann, our bishop, for Brother Joe, our community servant, for all of our church leaders, and for all clergy and ministers, that they may be ever faithful servants of word and sacrament. For unity in the church, that our scandalous divisions may be healed. For the poor, for the hungry and the thirsty, and for the destitute and the unemployed, that we may share with them the riches of creation and free the world of poverty and famine. For the poor, <clears throat> for Joe, our president, for Katie, our governor, and for all the leaders of this nation, city, and state, for the leaders of the nations of the world, that they may bring justice and peace in all the earth. That God, who's begun this ministry, may bring it to fulfillment. For those who've died, especially George, Brother Walter Arthur, and Father Tom, and for all who serve in harm's way, and for all the victims of terrorism and violence. For those who are sick, for the aged and the infirm, especially those suffering with dementia, and for Bill and for all who struggle with addiction. For the resolve of the nations to address the climate change crises. For the mercy of God community, Brother Joe, Brother Tom, Brother Todd, Brother Richard, Brother Bill, Brother Max, Brother Bill, and all the Mercy of God associates. Rejoicing in the fellowship of Francis and Claire and all the saints, let us commend one another and all of our lives to Christ our God. for the intentions of those who've asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Precious God, you are our defender and savior, and your name is great in all the world. Raise us up to sing your praises. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.